So the trailer for Ghost of Tsushima came out and it looks spectacular. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about it, my thoughts, impressions, and yeah, let's just get along with it, okay? <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima. All right. So if you haven't checked my 2020 videos list, which I'm going to quickly plug wherever, I don't know, <laughs> on the video, then you would know that Ghost of Tsushima is one of my most anticipated games of 2020. I was really excited about it, mainly because of the gameplay trailers and just the fact you're going to be a samurai and it's the next big Sony exclusive and it's by the guys who did Infamous so I've played Infamous Second Son and that is a lot of fun so I was curious to see this game. This trailer that came out just sold me on the story so much because it seems like we're gonna be in for one epic journey. So the main character you play as is called Jin Sakai and he's brought up to learn the samurai way which is you know honor, respect um, etc. So in this game it seems like we're going to be throwing away all that honor and respect because in the trailer there's this one scene where um, a woman is talking about this guy as a vengeful spirit. So going from an honor respectful samurai to a vengeful spirit that story seems like it's going to be so cool to see. What really got me excited to play as Jin and to see his story is when his master in this trailer comes up to Jin and says, oh, I taught you that the Samurai way was about honor and respect. And he goes, honor died on the beach. Oh, damn, I can't wait for this. I love all these stories about revenge and I usually like them when they're told really well. Especially like with a film like Kill Bill, I would say that's a, a movie that I love. So seeing it in game format in feudal, feudal Japan with samurai is going to look so cool. The landscapes in this trailer look so breathtaking as well. Even there's this one um, scene where Jin is running through and leaves are just flowing through the air and it's so beautiful. Oh wow. Another thing is I want to see what the mongrels do to Jin and you know the town of Tsushima. I want to see what happened in this big epic battle to lead to Jin becoming a vengeful spirit. I hope we get to play that battle because oh my days imagine <laughs> a Japanese samurai battle feudal Japan battle oh that's gonna look insane and the music in this trailer oh Wow, it sounds so epic and grand in scope compared to what I would expect in this game. I thought it was going to sound more stealthy and like kind of, what's the word, ambient, uh, ambient version of Feudal Japan in the music, but it sounds like we're in for like a war film. This sounds like it's going to be a Japanese war movie. That's what it sounds like to me. And the fact that this, the scope is that big in terms of the music for this game. <sighs> wow, I'm gonna fall in love with this game. <laughs> like seriously. What's so crazy about PlayStation and their exclusives is how they have such a high bar with a lot of their games. They do look like crazy cinematic games. And it seems like Ghost of Tsushima is gonna follow in suit with the, the likes of The Last of Us, God of War, Horizon, Spider-Man, etc. And I really can't wait to play this game. I feel like this is going to be another one of PlayStation's games whereby they adapt into either a TV show or a film. And I will not be surprised because this seems like it's going to be a grand adventure. Especially how it's open world as well. So we know it's going to be grand. I just want the game now. Just give it to me. I mean, we have to wait till June. But um, yeah, that's going to be... <laughs> this year is going to be quite tough on us gamers because boy in June there's Ghost of Tsushima, in May there's The Last of Us 
and in April there's Final Fantasy, and in March there's like Animal Crossing and Doom. I mean, how are we meant to afford this? <laughs> like, how are we meant to afford this? Those are my thoughts on Ghost of Tsushima, the trailer that came out. Um, are you picking up Ghost of Tsushima? Do you agree or disagree with anything I said today? I'm open for discussion in the comment section. Um, please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it, and um, I hope you have a great day. Alright, I'll see you later. <laughs>